Thank you so much for staying tuned. We just joined us. This is TMI Sunday's edition, of course, on this discussion segment. We're taking a look at what is happening right now in the reverse estate. So, my Senate is getting messy about the day in the sense that the governor is trying to totally take full control of the state, irrespective of the way he chooses to do it, as long as it's within the ambit of his power and the constitution. So, my Senate is constitutional matter. Nobody should say one or two things about it. But as it stands right now, there seems to be a face off in between the police and some hoodlums in River State claiming to reclaim Secretariat barricaded by policemen for peace to win. Policemen said, Look, for us to leave that place, we need to get a court injunction. It's like still, we're even talking about declaring this sort of emergency over River State. They said that Fubara got so pissed. And the traditional ruler, talking about their head right now, he removed that building the head for not doing one simple thing, honoring the governor's office. The traditional ruler refused, because nobody can say it was like mistake or error, refused to put his picture, another of his deputy, in the traditional council calendar. And you know what that means. Immediately, if Barra saw it, he said, Enough, he said, Enough, you have to leave, and they have to replace him. With someone else, it stands right now. The secretary in uh, River State local government that been barricaded, no entrance, no exit because of the looming crisis in the River State. Joining us right now in the studio, he's a lecturer, Uniben. Yeah, join me to welcome Andrew Inoefe. I hope I got that name correctly. Yeah, Andrew Omosefi. Omosefi, yeah, thank you, thank Omosefi. You. I'm going to correct that. Thanks okay, you're welcome, Andrew. Thank you. It's a dark, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to mention that. <laughs> and I still have Honorable Desmond Agbama. Okay, Desmond. sorry, Na Napoleon Agbama. Sorry, uh, thank you. Very uh, much. Honorable Napoleon Agbama, and of course, Okoro Osaho Baraye. And still, of course, uh, very much with us, all from the U.S. Honorable Ehi Ehariba. Okay, I, I want to start off with Honorable Ehi Ehariba. I mean, I know that you've been observing what is happening. In the river state, and of course, you have a first class information about what is going on, even in Edo State, and you just name it. Now, what do you feel about this latest development that is emanating from the sack of the local government chairman, knowing fully well that the three years has elapsed, but are saying that it's been extended by whose law, whose authority, and the subsequent barricading of each local government by police forces? waiting for a court injunction for them to know the next step to take. Take it up from there, Honorable. Uh, I think the emasculation of the local government system just continued in River State. Uh, and uh, it has been like a cocktail of uh, abnormalities going on in River State. And in my opinion, the National Assembly should have waited in and even the president, you know, though he did his best at the time to call the, uh, what you may want to call warring fashions, uh, one led by the FCT uh, minister, uh, Yeson Wike Esquire, and the, the other one led by uh, Fubara, the governor of River State. You know, the president had tried to broker a truce, but unfortunately that truce uh, seems to have uh, collapsed. Uh, but what is going on there is uh, the unresolved issue of the leadership and the membership of the River State House of Assembly. And uh, we have a situation now which is uh, a case of extreme abnormality, such that uh, in River State you have 32 constituencies represented by 32 uh, House of Assembly members. Okay, but right now we only have three members, you know, led by one uh, Honorable Oko Jumbo, you know, saying that uh, they have screened, you know, though it was not televised because uh, it is impossible for three members to have screened, you know, House of Assembly, uh, sorry, local government Ketika committee chairman. You see, when you lump illegality on top of illegality and uh, it is just very shameful that, uh, uh, with how far we have gone with our democracy, we still make uh, obvious mistakes that makes us, uh, you know, paint us in bad light before the international community. You know, how you, in the House of Assembly, for instance, the principal offices are not even filled and you are functioning with it. 
You know, you have, for instance, the speaker, deputy speaker, and majority leader. Okay, is there a minority leader? There is there a chief whip? Is there a deputy majority leader? You know, most of the positions are not filled. It's just not possible in the same climb to have three members representing 32 and 29 constituencies are all represented and uh, and, as, and you have a, a candidate to be their local government caretaker committee, which on its own is unknown to the constitution and it's an absolute abnormality. You know, caretaker committee chairman are not recognized and the government has been, all, has been in uh, office for a year. He knew the tenure of the local government chairman were going to elapse. So why did he not speak to the, uh, the, the local electoral uh, you know, chairman of River State for, the, for there to be an election? You know, he, why, why, why are the governors emasculating the local government system? How would it feel if INEC did not call for elections, for instance, into uh, those states at the expiration of the tenure of uh, Governor Basaki? How would it feel if INEC did not call for elections into the office of the president at the ex expiration of the tenure of Buhari? Would there have been a critical president in Nigeria? Would there have been a critical governor in those states? No. If these answers are no, then why are the governors deliberately letting local government tenures run out and then pick stooges to go and represent them, which, which the Supreme Court have ruled and said severally? That is, uh, this is an abnormality, it is unconstitutional, it is illegal, but the governors deliberately wait for the local government tenures to run out and do nothing about it, and then they pick up people from nowhere and swear them in. It, it, it is sad because this is the level of government that is closest to the people, and if we are operating in a democracy, the people must be allowed to choose their leaders at the local government level, even as they have chosen their leaders at the state and national levels. Thank you. All right, I'll, I'll come back to you. Well, you, you heard him. Now, let's come to you, Dr. Andrew. He said to him, it's not the support of emasculating the local government. All right. I know I also come back to you, Honorable uh, Napoleon Nagma, because we are one of local government boards. You're going to tell us how you feel about this. But from your own perspective, what do you feel about this? Well, each time we discuss issues relating to local government mm. in Nigeria, I feel really pained. Uh, because as a political scientist myself, um, I understand that there are three levels of government. Mm. You have the federal, you have the state, and you have the local government. Mm. And constitutionally, each of these uh, levels of government are guaranteed some level of independence. Mm. And that's why we talk of federalism, you know, as a system of government that, uh, that uh, you, you have different levels, you know, of authorities, where each level of authority is independent of each other. You know, and the local government system is supposed to be the most important, you know, level of government because it is closer, you know, to the, to, to the doorsteps of the common man. It is government that is visible. It is government that you can interact with, government that you can relate with. It is government where the common man can walk straight to and meet the local councillor and say, uh, you came to my house the other day and you wanted me to vote for you and I voted for you. Why are you not delivering? the dividends of democracy to my doorstep. Mm -hmm. Now where am I going to see the local, uh, my, my, the state governor? Where am I going to see my member House of Assembly? Mm -hmm. It is the local government chairman that I see. It is the local councillor that I see. And so when uh, uh, my leader, Honorable Igareva, you know, talked about the emasculation of the local government system, you know, I seriously agree with him. And then I now agree with the president, commander in chief of the armed forces of Nigeria, you know, who has now gone to the Supreme Court to say, first things first, Supreme Court, you guys interpret for me, you know, the, 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 the role, the constitutional provision that guarantees the independence of the local government system. And then he is also proposing that INEC should now take over you know, the conduct of elections at the local government. For me, this is very sound because this is the only way the local government system or local government administration, you know, can be protected. Let me tell you the truth. What is happening in Rivers is a further reinforcement of, you know, 
the emasculation of the local government system in Nigeria. But, but, but hold yes. on, three years has come and gone. What did he do wrong? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yes. Honorable Ayala made, hmm. you know, a very valid point. Hmm. When they asked the question, you knew that um, uh, the tenure of this local government chairman were, was coming to an end. Now, by law, since their local government, their tenures are, you know, or their tenure is expiring, what he needed to have done was to call on the uh, electoral commission in Rivers to say, we have to now begin the process of conducting elections to fill the space of, you know, these guys that will be living. In an atmosphere of rancor? No, look, listen, this, there's something like atmosphere of rancor. This is okay. law. I'm okay. coming. I'm coming. This yeah. is law. Mm. We, you, you know, in law, your feelings, my feelings mm. really doesn't matter when it comes to adhering to law or when it comes to carrying out, you know, uh, 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 the functions of government. Mm. He knew that the tenure of... Oh, you, okay, was he not... I think it was he that also said just now that how will the reverse state governor feel? His tenure is expired and INEC is not conducting elections. Will you say because the, the situation in reverse is tensed, is tensed up and then you will not conduct elections into, uh, the, uh, into the, the, the go, uh, uh, for governor? Or you say because the atmosphere in Nigeria is tensed up, you will not conduct elections for president? So this speaks to, you know, and the neglect, the disrespect. You have also reinforced that now, that disrespect. It also shows that you are also part of those that do not respect. I'm just asking the local a question. I'm just asking a question. No, no. question. Because you are saying that, that because, because uh, 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 the atmosphere in River State is I asked of, the question. There should be, there should be no election. Rancor. There should be no election. Oh, no. There should be election. We cannot say because we are in a state of uh, trouble, we will not conduct uh, elections. All right. The man in River State really does, like, like, just like his fellow governors. You know, in, in Nigeria, do not have a single respect for the local government system. They don't even know okay. the value of the local government system in Nigeria. All right, I, I, I will come back to you. Now, please, let's start to watch our emotions. Well, Honorable, you are one time who the local thank government you, boss. You, so, you, now, what you. is happening right now in River State? What can you make you, out you, of it? You see, you see when, when even uh, my brother Gariba was speaking, I, Doc is speaking, I was just smiling. Mm. The truth is that the constitution of Nigeria is not a uh, is the problem. The constitution is the problem. It is the problem because mm. local government were not fully defined in that, mm. in that, in that constitution. It, they were put on the mercy of every state governor. Mm. So every state governor you look at the local government as the, it's a, uh, or local government chairman as their errand uh, boys. Mm. And they, put, they, they, they do the election at, at, at their own will, at their own comfort, at the time they, they, they want it to be because the constitution has been so silent over the local government. And that is why we are happy. The Agon, they are happy. Nigeria today, we have an association that is already recognized as Local Governments Association of Nigeria. Mm. We, our voice is there too, like he said just now, applying that the present uh, federal government has recognized that the problem or one of the problems of the present democracy in Nigeria is that of the local government. If the local government is very, very uh, independent like uh, the states, mm -hmm. the development will, be, will move fast. Every other thing will move fast. Like he said, very many, more than 80% of the populace cannot access the government house, but they can access the local government for any business. And for any, when you talk of um, institutions, primary uh, uh, institutions, they are under local government. Primary health care center, they are all immunization or whatever you, that you see. So everything is under local government. And that is where you start from. But the constitution so placed the local government under the mess of uh, every, every government. Mm -hmm. Tell me today, there is no election that will be conducted in any state in the, in, the, in the federation where you have any opposition winning one uh, local government. It is always by the uh, sitting governor, the, the, the party. So that is why that, until we redefine truth constitutional means that local government must be, uh, like he said just now, Supreme Court is the highest uh, court in the federation. Mm -hmm. If they, by tomorrow, have that judgment and said, yes, local government must be fully autonomy. So that election will now be conducted by the federal uh, electoral commission. And this crisis that you are seeing in River will be there. Mm -hmm. will not be there because the governor will only wake up anytime, anytime they will want to have a local government election and they will, they will do it. 
So we are only pleading that the Supreme Court do the needful on time so that this problem we are having in local government system, we have to stop. Otherwise, okay. the development will not be so rapid within the grassroots. We talk of rural areas. Who mm -hmm. handle the rural areas? Is the local government. Mm -hmm. We talk of uh, primary education health, like I said, is the local government. So if they want the local government to still continue to exist in Nigeria, it is not left with the Supreme Court. Oh, right. We have to wait for the Supreme Court to give judgment. Today, all of 15 states in the, in the Federation mm. are in with the critical uh, committee. committee. So what are we talking about? Okay. So what the, man, what the man have just done in River State is because he knew that the, the, the tenure of uh, mm. uh, elected one has expired. He has to go, go away with them and uh, appoint a critical uh, committee. Okay. But of all lately, like you said, when those ones that we are talking about extension of their tenure, who extend it? Is the extension affecting those already on seat, or the extension is now for those who will be elected later? That is another way. And all this emanates just because the governor or the states are now in uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, fully control of uh, local government system. Mm -hmm. It's on state, local government are two years. It's on state, local governments are three, three years. years. It's on state, they are four years. Mm -hmm. So you see that because it, it, all these are because uh, 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 governors mm -hmm. are the one controlling it. If it is from the federal, if we now say it's four years, it must be four years. Four years. You are the federation. If it oh. is three years, it's going to be three years. All right. Until that is done, we are still talking. We will still continue to talk the way we are talking. Okay, but right now, over now, too, do you have a different view from what is like going on in River State? They are talking about local government autonomy, local government uh, avails and all that, about the salvation of the local government. Does it go beyond that in Rivers? It goes beyond that because uh, it is... Uh, if uh, the governor and his uh, erstwhile godfather were in the same page, I'm not sure rivers will be where it is today. Mm -hmm. I'm sure maybe the uh, electoral would have been done or the extension of uh, the immediate uh, dissolved local government would have also extended. So it goes to show that uh, the, the war has just begun. And also, you saw the issue where one of the statues of uh, the Esquire yes, government was brought down and his head from that statue pulled off. Mm. Those were so sure that it's war. You know, uh, it's not the way we play politics here. We've to play it. Those people are, are close to ammunition. So the attack of fight is not the one you have in Benin, where you do a career the matter. No, those people don't do it. What they do there, what they have there is very sophisticated. So, uh, the government should also try to caution. The government for that should also try to caution because it's the populace that suffer. Now, the governance that you are trying to run away from the people now, you are not even interested again in governance. This one is going to take you these four years. So, if I was in the governor's shoes, I know as a governor, loyalty from every other party is supposed to be to you. But I think you would have had a way of trying to make sure everything goes down well and making sure the people enjoy. Because if you are done it that the people are enjoying, the people are the ones to liberate you, not to liberating yourself. I you getting that if the people say we sin has been disturbing this man, not you shouting, we they beat me, we they beat me or no. The people will say, no, this time go here and do this. So the governor should check with caution because uh, Whatever you swore that the lives and properties of the people mm. would be sacrosanct to you. And today, as we speak, the lives and property in River State is not sacrosanct. Just from your own news and the news we all know, police blockade everywhere. And I'm also aware that you are aware that so few persons have lost their life these past days in this issue. That's not governance any longer. That's you are in war with your own people. So there would have been a way as a governor, you would have made sure that this thing goes the way of your people. Your people should come first. Are you getting that? So, but signing the way, I think on this uh, panelist today, we have two ex -gov uh, local government chairman. Mm -hmm. My very good friend, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and uh, of, yeah. Yeah. So they were all, so they are also experienced in, in this. Local government is the best. Mm -hmm. Form of local government because that is where 
everything about infrastructure start. That is the foundation. Taking a clue, I always used to make an example here. We are lucky, we need, we're lucky, we need, was local government chairman. That is, that, that, it was that point that brought lucky to limelight. It was that local government issue. No, they didn't. Well, no, they didn't. So, also, uh, the former attorney general to, that was local government chairman to, yeah, for yeah, Ida Abo. It was their, their exploit in local government that brought them to limelight. And then they completed this local government. It was okay. INEC. Before the state governors brought in EDSEC. And you hear them. I'm also aware that you are aware that there was a time in this town where election was ongoing in Urumi. And it was, uh, the result was called in government house. So it goes to tell you that everything about local government it has already been damaged totally, down to the best minimum. That a local government chairman now, Kadon Bosu will tell you he's a local government chairman with the government seated. I'm also aware that you are aware now that as we speak for the very just now, 80% of us no longer know who our, who our councillors is. We no longer know them, we no longer see them because of how, how they come into power. Because now you see, they tell you, they had a meeting yesterday night to, uh, they talked to Dr. Mosefi to go and be the counselor for World War One. Uh, about to go and be this, they will just do it. Not even, in, and Mosefi will come to World War not even knowing those he wants to represent. Mosefi does not even know those he wants that need to be graded. He does not even know his job. I get it now. At the end of the day, everything becomes once upon a time. That's why when it's so, until we get the local government right, to make sure that square pegs are put in square holes, the government interference is not there. Okay, look at what is happening in Rivers. You can see that the president is yet to speak, even with the killing that is ongoing. What would have happened if it was the local government chairman that was shouting and the government is going to keep quiet? So, I, I get it. So, it's high time we try to fix it. Uh, Honorable uh, Gariba, you were one time local government boss, so, so is uh, Honorable Napoleon Obama. People are like crying or clamoring right now for a declaration of a state of emergency in reverse state. What do you have to say about that? Is that the solution to this problem? Well, uh, I think the president probably needs to wait in again because uh, if he were to declare a state of emergency, uh, a lot of people are going to think it's excessive. But however, the state in which River State is right now actually warrants the declaration of a state of emergency if it's approved by the uh, National Assembly. Why am I saying this? You see, we talk about the illegal appointment of illegal persons as caretaker committee chairman by the state governor. You, you know, it gives the board they were appointed that not being screened by the house. That's yes, why they're yes, just yes. three or four. When, 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 when I, they when were screened I mean illegal because caretaker committees are not recognized by the constitution of Nigeria, and we are in a constitutional democracy. The constitution do not anticipate that the leadership of local governments will be appointed. They are to be elected just like at the state and federal levels. So that is an act of illegality, especially when the Supreme Court have clearly said so on several occasions. Then again, you see with the House of Assembly issues, the people are underrepresented, under represent, uh, they are not uh, represented right now because you have 32 constituencies and only three constituencies are being re recognized or represented at the, the, the level of the state's uh, governor. I know the people he recognizes as members of the House of Assembly. You know, this had started from uh, those states where my local government, I still feel very painful to tomorrow. For four years, we had no representation at uh, Edo State House of Assembly. So the local government system is, is at uh, great risk right now in River State. Then the State House of Assembly, in clear violation of the principle of separation of powers, have been moved into the government house, the seat of the executive, of, uh, executive arm of River State government, which means the executive and the uh, legislature have been tied together. That is unconstitutional. The, the principle of separation of power is fundamental to democracy. 
which means democracy is under threat in River State. Very clearly so. There's no way to window dress it. You have, you have seized the, 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 the arm of government that is supposed to be independent from you, that is supposed to act as a check and balance on the state government and put them right into your government house where the, 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 the House of Assembly do not even have a quorum, neither are they able to fill all the principal offices of the House of Assembly. You know, something drastic ought to happen. You know, the, the, the president and the National Assembly have to go all the way to use this to correct the system, you know, that a state governor can become a law unto himself and ask that, you know, it's, it's unheard of to imagine that the people that would borrowed or copied democracy from, for instance, here in the United States, to say that uh, the, 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 the Congress has moved into the White House, or in the UK, to say that the, the parliament has been moved to 10 Downing Street, is unheard of. Why, where is Nigeria learning from? Okay, good question. Where did we learn it from? I'll come back to you, Honorable, if time permits. Well, you heard him. He said if we should go by saying uh, a sort of emergency should be declared in the river state, that means Mr. People will accuse Mr. President of being excessive. What do you have to say about that? Knowing fully well that there might just be a face off if it's not well managed between the police force and some hoodlums. Well, for me, uh, hmm. there's nothing excessive when. Uh, it, is, it has been established that governance, you know, has, you know, taken a downturn. As far as I'm concerned, in Rivers today, there is no government. Fubara, maybe, is just hanging on, you know, going from one place to the other, looking for validation and all of that. You said there is no government. Even, Don't forget that he was democratically elected. So I, you said there is no government. I, you may be wrong. He was democratically elected, yes. But as we speak, is he carrying out the functions for which he was elected? That is one. Two, uh, the House of Assembly, there is no House of Assembly in River State as of today. Amai Wule faction are claiming that they are legitimate, uh, 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 legitimately elected leaders of the House of Assembly, while the other one that is leading about five or six people out of 32 constituencies uh, is the one that has now been recognized by the governor. And in fact, they are now operating from the office of the governor. You know, Honorable Gariba actually made it very clear. It's a clear violation of the principles of separation of powers. Listen, the House of Assembly is not a stooge of the executive. In fact, the House of Assembly is supposed to be, you know, the watchers. Those who are supposed to ensure that the executive do not out, act out of order. Check they themselves are not the ones that are not acting out of order. Now, you are saying that there is a case in court where the, the, you know, the, the, it has still not been determined whether the seats of Matizama, Willie, and Co. have been declared vacant. Mm. And then you are not allowing them to operate. First, you remove the roof of the House of Assembly. You know, of, in, no, not even remove the roof. They burnt down the House of Assembly. They say it's for renovation purpose. Uh, then later, they start mm. renovating the place. Mm. You know, it has gotten to a point where governance will be restored, where law and order will be restored. And the only way to guarantee that right now is the declaration of the state of emergency. Honorable Napoleon Obama, do you agree with what he said? Declaring the state of emergency. Well, That's what people are clamoring for. If what we are seeing in River State continues. I think there is no other way than the state of emergency. But however, when you look at it today, why I supported uh, my last uh, speaker doctor, that there is no government in River State today. Today, the House of Assembly is in problem. Three persons cannot be doing the work of uh, 23 persons. About uh, 19 constituencies uh, are not there. As that <laughs> is not uh, okay, the local government system is another problem. The same state, local government is a problem, House of Assembly a problem. What then are you really from? What then are you really with? And the commissioners, most of the commissioners have resigned, and those where you even replace, who treat them? There is constitutional uh, uh, procedure. Mm -hmm. 
You see that uh, those things are purely illegality. And I pity the young man, probably people are advising him. In another way, I'm very happy because it's a lesson to many governors who be, be sticking their head to say, ah, I must have my own uh, successor. I must have my own successor. It must be Peter, it must be James. The James and Peter that, you have, uh, that has happened in River, this is the result we are seeing. Mm -hmm. Allow democracy to play. Allow the people to choose who will represent them. Party A or Party B or Party C, allow the people who are consigned by constitutionally of that party to nominate whoever they want to be the governor of the state. Not one person just coming out to say, Peter must be the governor. And that is what we are seeing playing out there. That is why I'm happy, on my own personally. Uh, in another way, like uh, we, the, your question goes, if the federal government and this, uh, the National Assembly now see that there is no other option than to declare a state of FM, uh, emergency. They, we have to do because uh, uh, the, the, the problem that is going on in uh, River State, if we allow it to escalate, and uh, more than this, killings, uh, probably other states will virtually later uh, copy from it. And if we name it by will of uh, emergency uh, uh, or whatever, I think any other state will not copy from it. Uh, it will be a lesson to every other state that would be uh, that are watching today that uh, uh, the, the, the situation in the river state. And I pray seriously that the governor and the political actors in river states come to a roundtable talk mm -hmm. because democracy is not by gun, it's not by uh, using the arms to destroy one another. It is talk and the power of the people. Right. Thank you so, so much, Honorable Napoleon. Uh, Obama. Well, Obaraye, some are saying that this might just be the ploy of the ex-white godfather for the declaration of emergency in River State. Do you see an element of truth in that particular comment? Make it ungovernable for them to declare so that they will remove Fubara? Yeah, uh, though what is happening there presently deserves a state of emergency, but me, I'm not in support. Hmm. And the reason I'm not in support is that uh, politics is playing, but Fubara should quickly go back to the drawing board and see where he has missed it. Same with his S.Y. Godfather. The federal government would have also, as a matter of uh, urgent, important uh, security, importance to also declare state of emergency in places like Bono, Zamfara, where our cheap up people be kidnapped in there. Those are places where uh, state of emergency would have since been declared. But mm -hmm. the present uh, governor of uh, River State is uh, playing to the gallery. Mm -hmm. I get it now. Uh -huh. Somebody has told, your mother has told you that uh, if, a, if a visitor comes to your house, don't beg him money, don't do this. There's a, a laid down procedure in the house. And you see a visitor coming and he started saying, uh, I'll call anything for me. So you are, you are telling your mother to be, even the uncle that tells you no, yes. Mm -hmm. Once the person leaves, your mother will give you a knock. Which in detail tell you not to do this. Are you getting it now? Because yeah. you are the one doing what? So Fubara uh, has shown that he's not good in managing people. He has also gone to show that he does not have a, a tolerance spirit. Mm -hmm. I get it. A good leader tolerates. I get it. You, have, you already have the, the edge. Look at, okay, the, the, what, what, what you said was the issue for removing international rulers. That's your picture. And that's what the deputy governor was not uh, And to him, that's an insult yeah, on the state. Yeah, that's an insult on the state. Yeah. But is it also, also an insult that the president of the country yeah. told you to do this and do this and do that, and now they still fire there? So why, and if you are, if you are, if you are, okay, you are, sure you are going to go because my picture, my, that of my deputy was not here. The, pres the, the president of the country can also say, Fubara, please stay put away little. Since I, 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 I discussed on this issue, mm -hmm. and you have said no, just must be so. There are ways he would have also, now. It's also cost one cup between the traditional rulers. Nothing would have stopped you or to mock him to say, Is it not shy? This of your traditional ruler, are we all not a subject? Please kindly disregard this one and get a better one. Where my picture will be, the state government will sponsor it exactly. How to manage the uh, issue? Crisis. Not you coming to say, No, uh, this one you go. They start to, the man that is living now, you've caused your own problem within <laughs> you and that person yes, just yes. because of picture. In calendar, I am presently uh, 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 preparing for my father's burial for the invitation. Mm -hmm. Would I say because the man was supposed to write 
or card bear for cover by you, and I was a carry there for cover by you. I will not say the man is a bad person, no. Okay, no, this is how to do it. This is how to spell it. Please do it again. I get it now. So you didn't even give him a fair hearing. As a governor, as a governor, you show that you are not also good. Your, your temperament is extremely on the high side. Mm. So the governor should go back to the joint, but to know that he's no longer the chief of staff. He's no longer uh, an appointee. He's now an elected leader governor, of yeah. Paris, uh, or free state. Mm. So the, the, the security of his life and people in that rivers is of his own power mode. It mm. should not be the issue of uh, your ex wife godfather. Thank you. You have been able, okay, look at, is it not a shame that you were not able to even bring mm. out of the 27 to 29 members if you were also good in your own game as a governor and as a politician, you have been able to also bring at least 10, 15 people in that place to join you. Mm. I get it that you are destroying, destroying, destroying. Nobody should come talk to you. No. I get it that. So by the time because nobody tells you, kiss me, uh, we see. Oh, by fact, we stop it, stop it. I say, my child, even though you can beat your body or your body can beat you, mm. you say, if not be your guy, but if caught up for this matter, which I for use your IC. Yes. And just so, on the matter. Yes. It's All right. The president has spoke of this issue. Mm. We can, I would have removed the W and instead will not be EK. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so, so much, gentlemen. You can see our time is up. Honorable uh, uh, I know you have one or two things to say, but our time is up. But I appreciate the wonderful analysis. Thank you so, so much. Well, uh, uh, Doc. Um, Andrew Omosefe, thank you so, so much. Yes. Honorable Napoleon Obama, I appreciate you. you of course, Al Valerie, thank, thank you so, so much for coming. I appreciate all of you. Well, we are still watching the situation to see how this will pan out. Would that be a declaration of a state of emergency in the rivers? Only time definitely will tell. Mind you, the opinions of our analysts is just, it has nothing to do with ITV, is their personal opinion. So let's just be clear. See you some other time. Bye for now.